Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to episode two of season two. So despite losing so many players, the boys have actually made a promising start to the season, winning their first two games and looking pretty good in the process. The team's newest signing, Pierce Doff, has started very well, scoring a number of goals and looking threatening every time he touches the ball. And of course, the boy who can't be named's form has been exceptional as well, so looking good up front this year so far. So just inspecting the damage now in the transfer news, and we have lost eight players there. Dick Splash, Harry Dixon Balls, Rick Astley, Regis Kuiper, Frankenbeans, Phil Zars, Wayne Kerr and Wet Farts have all decided to leave us, although thankfully Wet Farts is with us on loan until the end of the season to try and mitigate some of the losses we have actually brought some players in obviously we mentioned Pierce Dorf just before but also Josh Barton Jesse Foster Upac That Bitch and Gollum Saggers have all joined us it should also be said that the Sharks are circling for Doug Fleeballs and Gregor Tosakokov as well but to this point it looks like we may be holding on to them for this season at least as we're all keen to get into FM24 we're going to be experimenting with a new format this season we will show you the highlights for most of the games and we will have one match of the day each episode so let's get into it now and our first game that we're going to be looking at today is the round two match between Humpty Doo and Elizabeth United so four of our new signings to start that bitch you pack Barton and of course Pierce Doff has made such a great start to the season already Wilkins bring it down and passing it to boy we Holding it up there, pushing it through. There's Wilkins, and there's the first goal of the day. His second of the season, it's 1 0. And it's Waterson to Dickamana. Puts it out wide there and pushes it through, but Boy's back there. But he hasn't been able to clear it. Nelson, and it is Waterson who gets the goal for Elizabeth. So it's 1 1 after seven minutes. That bitch pushes it forward to Tossa Kokoff, and there's Boy. He finds him well, and there is Doff unmarked. Gets goal number two. It is 2-1 in the ninth minute. Tosakokov threatening there. Passes it to Wilkins. Back to Giorgio. There's Shen now going a bit wider. Trying to cross it through. Giorgio with the ball to Doff. And Doff heads it in. And it's 3-1. So Elizabeth's defence made it quite a bit closer than the XG suggests there. 43 shots to 5. So a brace for Pierce Doff. And we've got Bill Wilkins with the other goal there. So now we move to the second round FFA Cup game against the Loftus Bud Pirates. Good to see Steamer starting there and also Lucky Bolger on the bench. And it's Giorgio with the throw. Finds Boy. And back to Giorgio trying to find his man there. Defender clears it but he's not able to clear it well enough. And Doff gets another goal. He's eighth for the season. Gamma pushing it forward there but the Loftus defense is inter intercepted there. Magic puts it across to Abini. Abini. Kicks it back there, and it is Fornito. Daniel Fornito with the goal. It's 1-1 after 20 minutes. And it's flea balls to Shen, pushing it forward to Boy. Strolling down the right, and he's been taken out by the Loftus defender. And that's a second yellow. Patrick Sibilio has been sent from the field. So Loftus down to 10. Giorgio with the throw to that bitch. Pushing it forward there. He's able to find Boy. Boy grounds the keeper, and there's goal number two. 2-1 in the 68th minute. Smafat there, back to that bitch there. Flea balls, pushing it forward. There's Boy again, pushing it into the net. Easy as you like. Sixth goal of the season for Boy. 3-1 the score. Loftus on the attack here. There's Towns, pushing it out to Ken Oath there. And there is Chance, having a good chance there. And Dick nice to get the save there. Very impressive. Farts now pushing it forward there, trying to find Doff. He does, pushes it forward again there. There is Bulger there, rounding the keeper. And there he is. That's his first goal of the season, Lucky Bulger, 4-1 now. So the XG shows how close this game really was, that send-off really being the difference between the two sides there, but a nice 4-1 victory and into round three of the FFA Cup. So results of interest in that round two fixture of FFA Cup, FK B.A. Grader in our division, but they went down 2-1 to Adelaide Olympic. Also, Alice Springs Celtic went down 3-1 to St. George FC. We played them last year, if you remember. And unfortunately for Alper Rurulum, they came up against Sydney FC, but were only defeated 1-0, so that's quite impressive. Off we go to Traeger Park for round three against Alice Springs Uluru. Good to see Steamer starting again for Bill Wilkins. Wilkins is another player that is actually in the eye of other clubs, but we seem to have been able to hold on to his services for this year. And it's Bookie now, streaming down the left-hand side. There's Doff there, crossing it in, and there's Steamer. First goal of the season. 
Excellent effort from Cleveland Steamer. It's 1 0 after two and a half minutes. Shen now down the middle. Great run there. There's Doff there pushing it through to the boy that can't be named. Shen back to Steamer. That's goal number two for Cleveland. Well done. 2 0. 21 minutes gone. And Tossa Kokoff with free kick now. Puts it into the top left hand corner expertly. Tossa Kokoff, 23 minutes gone now. 3 0 to Humpty Doo. And it's Tossa Kokoff pushing it forward to Bookie there. Bookie to Steamer. Can he get his third? He has. He's got a hat trick. Three goals today. 4 0, 52nd minute. And it's Doff. Well, Nick Doff, should I say. Looking for his brother in the centre there. Crosses it in now to Pierce. And Pierce has got the goal there. 5 0. And Edwards putting it forward through for Alice Springs. There's Payne there, looking for numbers inside. And there he has. He's found Reese Wooding there, and it's 5-1. So they pull one back. I think they've got a lot of work to do, though. And it's Payne again there to Nishki. Payne again, lining up the keeper, and he beats him effortlessly. Roger Payne with the goal, 5-2, 83rd minute. So a one-sided affair there, 27 shots to 13, pretty well tells the story. So sitting pretty on top of the table, undefeated after three games, equal with Port Darwin and Mars Bar Sugar. In sad news for the club, Gregor Tosikokov will actually be leaving us, but we do have his services until the end of this season. So looking at the Round 3 FFA Cup draw, we have drawn Armadale Soccer Club. Should be an interesting game. And for round four, it was off to Richardson Reserve against Modbury Vista Soccer Club. Tosa Kokov pushing it forward there through to Pierstoff, crosses it in, and there's the boy that can't be named. 1 0 after 15 seconds. Modbury with the ball there, Sawtell pushing it through there. Denisevsky there to Crook, and Crook rounds the keeper, and it's 1 1 after 18 minutes. Great goal there. And Bookie down the left, making good ground there, cross, looking to cross it in, crosses it in now, and there's Boy. 2-1. And there's that bitch at the back there, putting a beautiful ball through for Boy, and there's Doff finishing it off there nicely. 3-1, 38 minutes gone. And that bitch pushing it forward there, trying to find Wilkins there, can't, but there's Tosser Cock off now, and to Doff, and Doff gets another goal, 11 for the season, 4-1, 48 minutes. And there's Bookie again, going for a beautiful run down there, making a lot of ground, there's Boy trying to get it through there, and he has Managed to retrieve it, and there's another goal. So 5-1, 66 minutes. So looking at the XG, this game was a lot closer than the scoreline reflected. 19 shots to 17 in their favour, but unfortunately for them, only five on target. So after four rounds, there's only two undefeated teams in the competition, Humpty Do and Mars Bar Sugar, and they will be the next game that we see. So we welcome Mars Bar Sugar to Fanny Bay Oval for this top of the table clash in round five. Both Barton and Foster are starting today, our new boys, and it'll be interesting to see how they go. And it's Giorgio with the throw now. Doff, that's Nick Doff by the way. Uh, good to see them both starting together today. There's Foster crossing it in there, and there is Pierce Doff with the goal. 13 goals for the season, and only a minute 30. Okay, it's Giorgio again with the run there, crossing it. There's Nick Doff there, unmarked there, and Wilkins gets goal number two. Georgia with the throw, there's Nick Doff again. Been very busy in this game so far. Toss a cock off to Doff again, and there is Wilkins, and he beats the keeper easily. 3-0, 25 minutes gone. And it's Toss a cock off again, pushing the ball forward. There's Wilkins to Pierstoff, and Pierstoff gets the goal. Easy as you like. 14 goals for the season for him. 4-0, 29 minutes. And it's Parts on the left with the throw. There's Tosa Kokov and Farts crosses it in, and there's Nick Toff getting his first goal of the season. 5-0, 32 minutes. This is a shellacking. And it's Mars Bar Sugar on the attack there. A Pedizano going down the right-hand side, holding it up there, looking for someone. And there's Griffiths with a beautiful kick, actually. Luke Griffiths into the top left-hand corner there. Fisher had no idea. So 5-1, but a little bit too little, too late, I think. So Humpty Doo throwing down the gauntlet there, demolishing Mars Bar Sugar, who were previously undefeated, 5-1. So after five rounds, we are the only undefeated team in the competition. Good to see Adelaide River get their first win of the season, getting them out of the danger zone. And in round six, we hosted Bordertown Football Club at Fanny Bay Oval, and Giorgio to Foster. Foster moving up the field, no real competition on him there. 
There's Wilkins, and he's sizing up the keeper. Holds it back there. There's Foster, and it comes off one of the defenders, and Bookie gets the goal. 1 0, 9 minutes. And it's Bookie again there. And there's pissed off there to Wilkins. Back to Bookie. Bookie finding Doff again. Doff looking around the keeper, does it easily. 2 0, 26 minutes. And it's you pack up the back there. Finding Banks now. Banks making a bit of inroads there. Crosses it in there. There's Boy to Wilkins. Wilkins puts a beautiful ball through to Doff. And Doff beats the keeper easily. 3 0 in the 28th minute. And it's Illich for Border Town looking for the free kick. Crosses it in. That's a beautiful kick. Marco Illich. 3 1 now. 35 minutes gone. Down the throat, he's dispossessed there, and it's Doff with the ball, holds it up to Wilkins. Wilkins is dispossessed there, but down the back, that bitch there, there's Giorgio there, finding Foster. Foster on the right, crosses it in beautifully, and that is pierced off again. 17 goals this year already, 4 1 in the 40th minute. And it's Bookie again, beautiful cross there, but it's been defended quite well, although Fleebles has retrieved it, and there's Wilkins, that's a great goal. Top left hand corner. That is just drilled in there. 5-1, 72nd minute. So a hat-trick for Pierce off there in that 5-1 walloping of Border Town. Excellent job by the guys once again. Undefeated after six. Port Darwin in second. Mars Bar Sugar in third. FK Biograd are fourth. And Enfield City are into the top five. And now it's over to the match of the day as we take on Lincoln City Raiders in the Coca-Cola Central West Cup round two. Well, hello and welcome to this much-anticipated clash in the Coca-Cola Central West Cup Round 2 game against Lincoln City Raiders. Good to see that Nick and Pierstoff are playing together, so the brothers up front. Cleveland Steamer is also there instead of Bill Wilkins, although Bill Wilkins is on the bench. As we go to the teams lining up there and we start off, it's two minutes in and Barton with the cross and it is well saved on the line there by the goalkeeper. But we have got a penalty. And it is went fast to step up and he's put the ball away. 1-0 after two and a half minutes. Very good start by the boys and I'm sure they're very keen to avenge their loss in the final of last year's competition against ECU Dunlop. And it's Bowman for Lincoln City with a free kick just outside the box. Swings it in and it's well saved there by Dick Meister. Great effort by the boy. And uh, yes, it hasn't crossed the line there, so it is still 1-0 after 7 minutes. Good start from the boys, but uh, obviously Lincoln City have come to play as well. There's Norton kicking it out from the back there. Bannerman picking it up there. Struggling to control it a little bit there, but he's managed to put it forward there. But no trouble for the keeper Thornham there. Pushes it up down the middle there but Shen has the ball there there's Bannerman and he's been well tackled there and there's Taylor for Lincoln City and there's Bowman again Fernandez pushing it through there and it's Maxwell who gets the goal Joe Maxwell his second goal of the season it's 1-1 in the 12th minute of play as we continue on there it's a very tight game here uh, we are in front on XG but uh, not by very much and Lincoln City have definitely come to play today. There's Bannerman with the throw. Back to Shen. And there's Bannerman again crossing it in. And uh, it is diffused there. But there's Barton. And what a great goal from Josh Barton. That's his first goal for the club. And what a great signing he's starting to turn out to be. So 2-1 in the 23rd minute. Good cross there by Bannerman. But it was defended there. And there's Farts there with the ball. And then Barton just curling it into the right-hand corner. What an excellent goal. A little bit of breathing space there. 2-1 though. It's very tight though. There's Taylor with the throw to Fernandez. Back to Taylor. Bowman puts it in, but uh, it's a very uh, reckless shot. And uh, Dick Meister had no trouble with that one. So, uh, very, very close game. Lincoln City. More shots, but probably less control at the moment. There's Goldschmerker from the back. 
and Barton pushes it forward again. Can he find off? No, he can't. Farquhar is there to cover, and Thornham, the goalkeeper, pushes it out to Lincoln City. Here's Scammer again, and that's pushed back there. Oh, the defenders made a bad mistake there, but Barton is not able to capitalise in this particular case. So 39 minutes gone, it's 2-1 to Humpty Do. And we have Lincoln City on the attack there. There's Eckford to Fernandez. And there's Bowman again to Taylor. Taylor crosses it in. And it has just been pushed wide there. I think the attacker there would be very disappointed with that. As we go from the back, there's Badman pushing it forward. Defended once again by Lincoln City. Although Steamer has the ball now. Moving with great purpose down the left-hand side. Pushes it back to Farts there. Farts holds it up. And he's managing to push it forward. There's Barton again with the cross. And it is Steamer with his fourth goal of the season. Although it has actually been caught offside. So it's heading into halftime now. It's 2-1. So just bringing Nick Doff off. And Lucky Bolger's going to get a chance in this game. And Bannerman comes off for Giorgio. So a couple of changes there. Uh, Bannerman was looking a bit tired on it. So And Giorgio is a very good player there. So... 10 shots to 9 now, it's very close. We still just have the edge on XG as Bolger gets a touch of the ball there and he's running through now. Can he cross it through? He, oh, he doesn't need to. He scored the goal himself. So second goal for Bolger this year. It is hard to do 3, Lincoln City 1. Just starting to pull away slightly. So the throw from Georgia there. Bolger does well. Georgia pushes it forward with great vision there. Sees that Bolger's unmarked and Bolger is able to put the ball away without any problem whatsoever. So half an hour of the contest left to go now and it's 13 shots to 9 now and Humpty Doo just starting to settle a little bit and it's looking like they will bring home the bacon today. Just going to make a substitution and we will take off Scammer and bring three balls on and confirm that and in we go now. So a bit of a dour affair at the moment, so nothing too much happening. But it is good that the boys are up 3-1. There's a cross there, and Tuma Fett gets his first goal of the season. So 4-1 now. So after a very, very close first half, Humpty Doo just starting to pull away in the second half. A bit more class and a bit more fitness showing, I would suspect. to the last 10 minutes of play there. There's De Goya there from Maxwell. Pushes it back to De Goya. And Goldschmeckel is there and pushes it back to Dick Meister. So well diffused there by Goldschmeckel. Good job. Dick Meister holding it up. Just trying to run the clock down a little bit. Pushes it right the way forward there. Can't find uh, Doff there. And that's De Goya again moving forward. He's found a ball. Oh no, Farts has actually been too quick there. So well done to Wet Fast there. There's Chuma Fat and Goldschmeckel pushing it forward once again. But uh, Lincoln City on the attack again and O'Neill gets the goal. Ali O'Neill. So it is 4-2 with five minutes of regular time to go. So I guess they are close enough if they are good enough. But it's Farts with the throw to Steamer. Farts crosses it in there and Doff gets the goal. He's 12th of the season. It's 5-2. That will be the ball game, I suspect, with only three minutes of regular time left. You just see Farts there. Prominent in this goal. That's a beautiful cross there. And Doff manages to get free of the defender and head it in to the goal. So four minutes of injury time as Fleaballs pushes it forward there. And it's just been headed over the bar there. The great purpose shown specifically in this second half because it was a very tight first half and that is full time. So 5-2. So just looking at some of the other results we can see there. Pretty tight games by the looks. Adelaide Blue Eagles 4-3 over Inglewood there. Adelaide Olympic had a 5-4 extra time win over Lara Pinta. Remembering that Lara Pinta are in the Northern Territory Premiership because we played them last year. And Elizabeth were able to get over the top of Alex Springs Uluru. So that's a game in our division as well. And great to see Adelaide River 3-0. And Soda's got a goal there and Babok has got two. Watertown is another team in our competition has gone through 1-0 and Mindle Aces another team in our competition that have actually gone down there so looking at the next round draw for the Coca-Cola Cup we have drawn Mars Bar Sugar after beating them comfortably in the competition the boys will go in with a lot of confidence in that game I'm sure anyway folks we're going to leave it there for today 
If you enjoyed today, I'd love your feedback on the new content, whether you prefer it this way or you want to go back to what we used to do. If you're interested in the database and you'd like to download your own copy, there are links in the description for you to do that. If you like the content, give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.